I'm making a video on the Hall Effect switch for the Raspberry Pi. And in the old days, the, the equivalent of this was the reed switch, magnetic reed switch, and I thought uh, you might be interested in a little bit of background on this, the pluses and minuses versus the Hall Effect switch. In past times, you would see this uh, reed switch, magnetic reed switch, in different applications. Uh, for example, my first digital bicycle uh, speedometer had one of these in it. You could hear it clicking on and off as a little magnet on the spoke passed by the sensor. Uh, but the most common in electronics was to, uh, you'd see them in these uh, relays, these magnetic relays. And all this is is simply a coil of wire wrapped around one of these and uh, two of these connections will power up the, the magnetic coil and the other two connections actually connect to the ends of the uh, reed switch. So let's get a close-up view on this and uh, take a look and uh, see how it works. The first thing to note about the magnetic reed switch is it's glass and it breaks easily like this one right here where I was uh, straightening out the leads and the little envelope just snapped. Um, okay, so there's a, there's a couple parts, and this will actually allow us to see the inside. This piece right here is just a magnetic, it's a metal magnetic uh, contact, and there's two of them. You can see the other one is still inside the glass envelope right there. And when you bring a magnet nearby, uh, the two become magnetic and they stick together. And one of the drawbacks of this is sometimes the uh, contacts become permanently magnetized and they stick together and then you need to get a magnet to demagnetize them. You flip the magnet around the opposite direction and demagnetize it. So that's a disadvantage. Okay, um, let's look at some other things. There's a very, very, very tiny, let's see if I can even show it on camera, very tiny separation between the two and it's not showing up between the two uh, contact points. And yeah, um, in other words, that's what I'm trying to say is that limits the amount of current you can put through here because they will arc shut really easily. And they, yeah, they're kind of fragile. So the envelope is fragile. The contacts are fragile. They like to arc together. They won't carry a lot of current. And what else? Yeah, those are, those are the major drawbacks. Some of the benefits, though, is the fact that this thing requires zero, basically zero voltage to, to uh, it'll transmit zero voltage. It doesn't take anything to activate it. It just takes a magnetic field. Now, what I've got is a Hall Effect switch over here, and the Hall Effect switch takes five, three to five volts to operate. So that's one big disadvantage. Um, this thing is hermetically sealed. It's not going to be affected much by uh, uh, nasty environments, whereas the Hall Effect switch and yeah, temperature, uh, water, actually these plastic envelopes will get soaked with water and become unusable. Um, yeah, so the fact that it has voltage and a plastic envelope uh, makes it a little bit more susceptible to, uh, to negative environments. Okay, let's uh, look at some other things. Let's look at this in operation. In the background, we've got our digital voltmeter set to uh, ohms. And then we've just got our magnetic reed switch there. And as the magnet approaches, it closes. Uh, it does work better in some directions than others. If you approach it like from the side, it's not very sensitive. But if, uh, and sometimes if you approach it from one side, it's more sensitive than the other. And it just stuck to my alligator clip. But again, it requires basically zero voltage going through the device to make it operate. I mean, it'll operate on a hundredth of a volt or a thousandth of a volt, whatever you need. It doesn't take anything to operate it except the uh, magnetic field, which like I said, it can be kind of fussy the direction it comes from. So that's pretty much it. Simple operation. You can put your magnet on some device and as it goes past the reed switch, it will activate it like they used to do with uh, the uh, digital bike speedometers. The last thing I should mention is these are very inexpensive. You can get uh, 10 of these for the price of one of these. Okay, well that was it for uh, some comparison between the Hall Effect switch and magnetic reed switch. I hope you found it useful and interesting in your DIY electronics projects.